of Singapore's pandemic task force has postponed the streamlining of safe management measures, which are set to kick in from tomorrow. This comes on the back of the current surge in daily cases, which has disrupted operations for some businesses. Shirlin Xia with this report. Initially slated to begin in two phases from 25th February and 4th March, the streamlined measures allowed groups of five to visit homes at any one time instead of the current daily limit of five. Social gatherings of up to five could also take place at work and venues could host larger team spots of up to 30 players. But the authorities will now consolidate these measures to take effect in one go on a later date. With the new date still up in the air, the limit of 10 players for sports venues remains. We're quite bummed out about it, but uh, I, I think we need, we want to be able to start football from a position of confidence, right? You, you, you don't want to, you don't want to get sport or team sport or football uh, starting and then there's anxiety in, in the background. That's 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 not going to be fun as well, right? So. Let's just hope this is a, a, a bit of a delay uh, and then the, the plans remain what they are. Uh, and then when, when that confidence is there, we, you know, we kickstart again to what the intention was. Two staff at the cage came down with COVID, but operations were not affected as other workers covered their shifts. The spread was also contained. For some, it's far from business as usual. UOB has closed its outlet in Vivo City for three days to reduce risk of further transmission. The bank says it's not unexpected that more colleagues have tested positive given the increase in community cases. Snack chain Dunkin' Donuts is also shutting all its 19 outlets for the time being, citing operational issues and that the health of its customers and team is its top priority. Nearly half the staff at restaurant chain Penang Culture have had COVID-19. Operations had to be tweaked so that it could keep its doors open. We would actually scale down on the workforce. We probably would have to limit our menu or to do lesser or to restrict the number of customers coming in if the kitchen is not able to cope with the surge in demand. Just last week, we actually had a few cases of infection within uh, our chain of outlets. So we would always try to cross-deploy people who has previously been infected because their chance of reinfection is actually much lower. Lah. So with, if there's a shortage, we would ask the existing staff who are probably on uh, off or on leave to, if, to check in if they are willing to come back on a pay uh, per basis. It's also counting heavily on vaccination. About 90% of staff have already had their booster shots and the chain's actively encouraging the rest to do so as soon as possible. People experiencing COVID-19 symptoms can consult a doctor via video call at combined test centres when they take supervised self-tests. This is available on weekends starting this Saturday. Medicine may also be prescribed and delivered to their homes. The government will fund the testing and consultations during this period. Now, the health ministry has repeatedly said people at low risk or those who feel well despite testing positive need not visit clinics or hospitals to get more tests or a medical certificate. It knows that hospitals are seeing more people at emergency departments when most didn't require emergency care. MOH says that this can compromise the standard of care for those who genuinely need emergency assistance. With the recent Omicron surge, one hospital tells CNA that it's helping its staff cope with the stress through designed resources like e-booklets and videos to enhance their mental wellness and self-care. Changi General Hospital says its staff are being rostered to ensure ample rest they're also encouraged to take small breaks. Hospitals A&E department will continue to prioritize care for those who are critically ill or major emergencies that may need its specialists.